Good battle book. Okay, step down here if you would, a little bit closer to the mic, right there. Oh, good. Okay, go ahead. On the last day of summer, 10 hours before, my grandfather went with me out to the world. For a while, he stood silent. Uh, then finally, he said, with a very sad shake of his very old head. As you know, on this side of the world, we are yokes. On the far other side of this world, life the jokes. Then my grandfather said, it's high time that you know of the terribly horrible, horrible thing that you do in every juke house in, and in every juke town. Every juke it is spread with the butter side down. But we yokes, as you know, when we breakfast or soup, spread our bread. Grandpa said, with the butter side up. That's right, that's the right honest way Grandpa gritted his teeth. So you can't trust a juke who spread bread underneath. Every juke must be watched. He has kings in his soul. That's why, as a youth, I made watching my girl. Watching jukes for the juke, watching further petrol. In those days, of course, the world wasn't so high and I could look any juke scarce in the eye. If he dared to come close, I could give him a twitch. With my tough, tough teeth, prickly sneak very switch. For a while, that worked fine. Or the juke stayed away and our country was safe. Then one terrible day of very rude jokes, by the name of Benich, snuck up and slingshotted my sneak very sweet. With my broken up switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chef Yokoru, in great sorrow I came, but our leader <clears throat> just smiled. He said, "You're not to blame." And those juke will be sorry they started this game. We'll dress you right up in a fancier shoot. We'll give you a fancier slingshot to shoot. And he ordered the boys in the back room to fi figure how to build some sort of triple sling jigger. With my triple sling eagle, I sure felt much bigger. I marched to the war with great beam and great vigor, right up to finish with my hands on the trigger. Okay, that's great. Go ahead. I'll have no more nonsense. I sat with a frown from Zook's sweet bread with the butter side, side down. Vanich looked quickly, quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day in a spiffy new suit with a big new machine, and he snarled as he said, looking frightfully mean, you may fling those hard rocks with your triple sling jigger, but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My wonderful weapon, the jigger rock snatch him, will fling him right back just as quick as we catch him. We'll have no more nonsense. We'll take no more gut from you, you silly bread with the bird side up. I have failed, sir. I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yukaru in the headquarters board. He just left. You've done nothing at all of the sort. Our slingshots have failed. That was old-fashioned stuff. Slingshots, dear boy, are not modern enough. All we need is some newfangled kind of a gun. My boy in the back room have just now begun to think up a walloping Wizinger one. My bright boys are thinking. They are they're on the right track. They'll think one up quick and we'll send you right back. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called a Kickapoo Kit, which they loaded with powerful Kickapoo Dude powder and, 
and then ants, eggs, and bees' legs and dried fried clam chowder. They carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun toting spaniel. Then Daniel, the Kickapoo Spaniel, and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high while everyone cheered and their cheers filled the sky. Fight, fight for the butter side up, do or die. Well, we didn't do, and we didn't quite die, but we sure did get worsted, poor Daniel and I. Vanish was there too, and he said, the old pig. The boys in my back room invented the rig called the eight nozzled, elephant toted boom blitz. It shoots high it shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits. <clears throat> and I put your dumb kick up poo kiss on the fridge. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our reach. Once more by vanish I was bested and beat. Once again I rimmed home from the world in defeat. I dragged and I sacked and my speed were low as low as I thought that they ever could go when I heard a boomba and a deer deer and our bottle of band marched up over the hill. The chief Yukaro had sent them to meet me along with the right side of some girls to greet me. They sang, O oh, be faithful, brave in Thai border. They rifted by spirit right out of the gutter. My boy smiled, the chief you can know. We've just voted and made you a general. You have been promoted your pretty new uniforms ready. Get in it. The big war is coming. You are going to begin it. And what's more, this time you are certain to win it. My boys in the back room have finally found how. Just wait till you see what they've portrayed up now. In their great new machine, you will fly over that wall and crowbar those bottles down jukes one and all. Those boys in the back room show you how to potter. They made me a thing called the Otteris Butter. And I jumped aboard with my heart or a fruiter and steered toward the vent of the upside down butter. This machine was so modern, so fright free, new, no one knew quite exactly just what it would do. But it had several faucets that sprinkled blue goo, which somehow would sprinkle the juice as I flew. And gum up that upside down border they chew. I was racing primary when I heard a voice yell, If you sprinkle us juice, you will get sprinkled as well. Venice had a spotter exactly like mine, and he yelled, My brewer is working just fine, and I'm here to say that if yukes can go jukes, you had better forget it cause jukes can go yukes. I flew right back home, and as you may have guessed, I was downright despondent, disturbed, and depressed. Nice, very nice. Right. And I saw just as soon as I stepped back on Rand, saw all of the girls with the bar of band. The chip drum made a red with Yuki and Su say that was pretty surprised that you flew, and the chip crew has been looking for you. I raced to his office, the place was a sight. Have no fear, said the chip. Everything is alright. My brave Bing Lun boys has been righter than right. They have thought a guest the newer than you. It is filled with mysterious mulakamu and can blow all the jokes clear to Salamagu. They've invented the BCP boy Bumaru. You just run to the wall like a nice little man. Drop this bomb on the jokes just as fast as you can. I have ordered our yokes to stay safe underground while the BCP boy Bumaru is around. As I raced through the wall with the bomb in my hand, I noticed that every last yuk in our land was obeying our chief Ikuru Green command. They were all bravely marching with banners of platter down a hole for their country and right side of butter. That's when grandfather found me. He grabbed me. He said, you should beat down the hole and you and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all of the butter somehow. You will see me in my history right here and right now. Grandpa leaped up the wall with the lapilus leap and he cleared his whole throat with the papillus beep. He screamed, here the end of the travel town full of jokes who he freed with the bird side down. And at that very instant, we heard a club club of pit on the wall and a bench club up. 
The boy in his back room had made him one too. In his fist was another big boy with maroon. I will blow you, he yelled into pork and with beans. I will burrow side up, you two small smithereens. Grandpa, I shouted, be careful, oh gee, who's going to drop it, with you or with him? Be patient, saying Grandpa, we will see, we will see. See, all right, good job, guys. Very nice. I always like it when it ends on a really strong note. Good job about the strong ending.